Hey, today I will tell you about the best top antivirus service. I tried a huge number of programs in this category and found the best one that worked perfectly for me. It is effective protection against ransomware. I have been using this antivirus for over 5 years. Watch this short video in which I will reveal to you three very useful secrets that few people know about, but which make it really the best in the category of the best antivirus. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. And now I will explain to you everything with an illustrated example. Norton Secure VPN offers VPN protection from a trusted naming security in addition to flexible pricing. Even before the US government opened the gates for internet service providers to sell your information, the big names in antivirus software rightly identified virtual private networks or VPNs as the next frontier in security. Norton Secure VPN has a strong security pedigree and an affordable, flexible pricing scheme that places it well within the impulse purchase territory. A continued aversion to BitTorrent and the death of advanced features may limit its attractiveness to some, however. Norton lets you choose a subscription that refreshes monthly or annually with a discount for the longer of the two. You can also choose a plan that covers 1, 5 or 10 devices. 5 is the industry average for the number of devices included in a subscription. I appreciate this level of flexibility since it lets customers tailor the offering to their needs. Monthly plans start at $4.99 for one device, $7.99 for five devices, and $9.99 for 10 devices. Annual plans start at $39.99 for one, for one device or five devices, and $59.99 for 10 devices. That sounds like an incredible deal, but note that annual plan pricing changes after the first year. Once that passes, you'll pay $49. $9.99 for one device per year, $70.99 per year for five devices, and $99.99 per year for 10 devices. Monthly plans do not change after the first year. When I review VPNs, I focus on the monthly pricing for comparison. Through that lens, Norton Secure VPN compares quite favorably. As of this writing, the average per month cost of a VPN is about $10.30. NordVPN costs quite a bit more at $11.95 per month, and Private Internet Access VPN costs quite a bit less at $6.95 per month. Both offer excellent features and experiences, and are Editor's Choice winners as a result. As you may have heard, Norton also sells a few other security tools. Annual add-on bundles are also available to new customers purchasing Norton security products. A subscription to Norton 360 Standard includes Secure VPN for one device and a Norton 360 Deluxe or Norton 360 with LifeLock Select subscription raises the number of devices to five. If you decide to go ahead and purchase a subscription with Norton, you'll have a hard time doing so anonymously. Norton only accepts PayPal and major credit cards. Other VPN services, such as TorGuard VPN, will accept anonymous Bitcoin payments and even prepaid gift cards from other merchants, such as Best Buy and Starbucks. TorGuard also offers a host of special add-ons for its subscribers, including access to an extra-fast 10 GB network and static IP address. Norton Secure VPN has no additional features for sale, but is itself included as an add-on for other Norton products. I prefer VPN services that use the OpenVPN protocol. Not only does it have a reputation for speed and reliability, but its open-source pedigree means that it has been picked over for vulnerabilities. Norton Secure VPN uses OpenVPN for its Android, macOS, and Windows apps. iOS devices connect via the IPsec protocol, which isn't unusual, as Apple requires iOS VPN apps to jump through approval hoops if they want to include OpenVPN. Still, I'd like to see Norton work to support newer and more secure protocols across all devices. Norton offers VPN servers in 73 locations in 29 countries. If a VPN company has a diverse offering of service locations, you can be assured that no matter where you go, you'll find a server nearby for better performance. It also means you have several locations to choose from when spoofing your location. 
The number of countries in which a VPN company operates can vary greatly. NordVPN, for example, covers 62 countries, private internet access is in 53 countries, and ExpressVPN offers servers in 94 countries. By comparison, Norton Secure VPN's offering is on the low side, but does cover effectively span the globe. I like to see Norton offer more coverage for Africa and South America specifically. Norton also does not provide VPN servers in China, Russia, or Vietnam, three areas with particularly repressive internet policy. It does offer servers in Turkey, however. As for the number of servers, Norton offers some 1,500 in total. That's pretty good and more than much of the competition. Note that NordVPN well over 5,200 servers, while CyberGhost, ExpressVPN, Private Internet Access and TorGuard all have over 3,000 servers. Most VPN companies spin servers up and down as necessary, but more servers mean you're less likely to encounter an overstuffed server. Some VPN companies rely heavily on virtual servers. These are software-defined servers, meaning that several virtual servers can be running on one physical machine. Virtual servers can also be configured to appear as if they are in a country other than where the physically host is located. That can be an issue if you're concerned about the specific locations through which your data travels. Norton Secure VPN also relies heavily on virtualization, with 1,200 of its 1,500 servers being virtual. However, all virtual servers are located within the country listed. They do what they say on the tin. When you use a VPN, you're effectively granting them access to everything you do online. That's fine if your VPN company is a good actor, but that's not always the case. Norton Secure VPN, however, has a strong pedigree, coming as it does from an established name in the security industry. That pedigree is backed up by good privacy protections for customers. VPN companies outline what information they collect and why in their privacy policies. Norton has many servers but provides a privacy policy specific to its VPN product. It's short and easy to read, which I appreciate. It also covers every single Norton product, which, while a bit overwhelming, is undeniably comprehensive. Many readers have questions about how much information VPN services can collect from users, and the answer varies from company to company. A Norton representative told me Norton Secure VPN does not log information about where you go on the internet. The service does look at aggregate bandwidth usage. Importantly, Norton told me that company does not make money from sources other than subscriptions. That's good, as less scrupulous company could sell your personal information for a tidy profit. The company does, however, collect anonymized information relevant for research which is outlined in the privacy policy. Depending on where the VPN company is located, it may be subject to mandatory data retention laws. Norton, formerly owned by Symantec, is located in Mountain View, California. Currently, there are no laws in the United States requiring VPN companies to collect and store user information, so this one is less cause for concern. Norton claims that if it had received an order from law enforcement to transfer user actions, it would not have been able to. Most VPN companies have chosen to create an application that is separate from the operating system like any other application. However, Norton Secure VPN is tied to the taskbar. Norton Secure VPN wants your VPN protection to remain active, so much so that I had a hard time finding how to turn it off. It turns out that you are toggling a switch at the bottom of the screen that I mistook for a connection setup. Nudging users to improve security is good, but I'm not interested in applications whose tools are not immediately clear. Given Norton's pedigree in security, I was hoping to see the company's VPN service with advanced features. This is not true. Aside from being able to automatically connect and launch the app at startup, Norton's secure VPN has nothing else to offer. There is not even an option to change your VPN protocol, although I suspect most users will not miss this or other inconvenient options. Norton secure VPN is designed to be installed and largely ignored and will be fine for most people. A Norton spokesperson said that the company offers dedicated servers for streaming video and unblocking content. Unfortunately, I was unable to find a way to connect to these servers. In fact, the secure VPN app will prevent you from going to specific servers, a feature that can be found on top VPN services. Again, I suspect this is due to the emphasis on simplicity.
NordVPN, on the other hand, has many specially configured servers for streaming video or connecting to the Tor anonymization network. He also has a large map in this app that invites you to click and explore. Tunnel Bear picks vibrant colors and powerful bears to spice up its app. Norton is at the other end of the spectrum in terms of design. The danger of using a VPN is that it can leak your true IP address or DNS information. During testing, I have verified that Norton's secure VPN is hiding my IP address. The DNS leak checker showed that Norton also successfully hid my DNS information. In addition to protecting the VPN, Norton Secure VPN also blocks and ad trackers. They are used by advertisers to track your movement on the web. However, it doesn't seem to block mass ads. It's also not a configurable tool, unlike the Tunnel Bear Blocker Browser plugin, which allows users to decide what they want to block. If you're into file sharing, Norton is probably not for you. While most VPNs like NordVPN allow BitTorrent and P2P services on certain servers, Norton has a complete ban. If torrenting is your thing, consider TorGuard VPN. This product is for file sharing, offering high bandwidth network and static IP addresses for sale.